My name is Margaret Hawkyard. I'm 69 years old and I live in Poynton in Cheshire. I was diagnosed when I was 60. I think probably for two years before I had symptoms but didn't realise what it might be. For, for example, I noticed um, one month if I drove over a, a, ro a speed bump, my back hurt. So much so that I'd go, ooh. Uh, but after a few days, it went. Um, but gradually, um, my back became stiffer and stiffer. That I went to the doctors and they prescribed painkillers. They said it was muscular, it was nothing to worry about. And I'd be all right for a couple of months and then it would happen again. Until the Christmas when I was 60. I, we had a garage door that you, you opened upwards and I bent over and opened it, thought nothing of it. Half an hour later I was in agony and it just got worse and worse. I went back to the doctors, they got more painkillers until I got to the point, on, unfortunately it was Christmas, Christmas night, I couldn't get into bed. Every time I tried, my back would spasm and it would shoot me, literally, onto the floor. It, it was just horrendous. I've never experienced pain like that in my life. And I've had two children. It was worse than being in childbirth. So um, we paid to see a specialist. Um, it's galling, but I saw one the next day. Um, had to have um, morphine to get me into a taxi to get me there. I was with the specialist four or five minutes and he said, you have either got bone cancer because I've had, I'd had breast cancer, you've got osteoporotic fractures, or you've got, and I can't remember what number three was, but a, a scan will show us, it will certainly show us that there's no cancer and it will show us fractures. So I um, had a scan there and then, um, more morphine to get me back into the taxi to come home and the following day he phoned up and he said, well the good news is there's no cancer, the bad news is you've got at least six fractures of your vertebrae from osteoporosis, no wonder you are in agony. So I phoned my own doctor then and then all the help kicked in. As soon as you get the diagnosis, you get the help. Um, I got more help from the osteoporosis nurses, the helpline. They're great because if you have a problem, you just phone up and you get your answer straight away. They're, they're wonderful. I can't do everything that I used to be able to do, by any means. I never lift anything, uh, including my grandchildren, which really hurts because I love young children and I've got three of them. Um, and it's so hard when they come to you and they want you to pick them up when you can't. But I can get down to them and I can play with them. And I think you just have to make the best of life. You have to admit to yourself I can no longer do gardening, uh, vacking, picking my grandchildren up, but I can play with them. If somebody lifts them into the bath, I can bath them and we have, we have fun and that's how I cope with it. I wish there were tests for people, say from the age of 45, 50 you could go for a DEXA scan and I would encourage anybody who's got the slightest suspicion to push and push till, till you can go and, and get one and put your mind at rest. Um, I wish I'd listened to my body earlier and pushed the doctor into not just giving me painkillers. Um, for people who don't have a lot of pain with it, well they're very fortunate, um, but who's to know what's in the future? So, um, 
get treatment, get on the right tablets, because the, the medicine we're, we're offered is obviously works from what I, I found out. Uh, you know, my bone density has increased, which books the trend. If you're getting older, it decreases. So it's, it's not only going up, you, you're booking the trend, if you see what I mean. It's like a double whammy. Um, and support the Osteoporosis Society. Join it. I'm not sure I can say anymore.